Hey guys, it's Core Ross and World 6 News. Today we're taking a look at the Vector Glare Battle Pass as the new season is out now. So let's have a little look and see what we get. So initially you unlock Sends and of course you get a bundle for the character as well. And it looks like it's just a slight variation on the default. And we're assuming there's going to be a new headgear in here for the new op as well. But we'll find out as we go through so we've got a new headgear here for Doc. That's pretty classy. Yeah. I quite like that quite a lot. And it's got some text with it. It says, this squad, this mission made me reflect on my choices. I wanted a combat role because I can't always trust others to do the right thing. With Wolfguard, I can take a step back, coordinate things and trust that my team will do what's necessary and what's right that's very cool then we've got a uniform for amaru and yeah i can imagine what the headgear i've already got quite nice actually kind of obviously not wolfguard themed i was wondering if this was going to be totally wolfguard based obviously with uh, that one there it is not we've got brow pack we have charm and this one is quite nice actually i'm not a big fan of charms but this is actually really not too, you know, not too bad at all. It's basically a Wolfguard dog tag. And this one comes with some text as well. It says, the dose makes the poison, I believe, balances needed to heal the world. Take a life to save a life. Where is my place in this equation? I want to be remembered for the life I gave in service to others. And that's from Doc. Then we've got a weapon skin here. So this is for the P90. Wow, it's a 3D weapon skin. I am quite liking that. If this is the start of these Wolfguard weapon skins, this is a very good start. That looks cool. We've got a Wolfguard lifeline, which is a card background. Can't get a bigger picture for it, unfortunately. That does look really nice, so I could see myself using that. It is limited, though, to dock. So that sucks. Then we've got an alpha pack. We've got a charm here, no text on it. Obviously that matches up with the Amaru stuff and uh, has no connection to Wolfguard from what I can see anyway. Then we've got a attachment skin, but again, just for the P90. So Doc and Rook only here. And the preview we get, it just looks like a very plain blue. But obviously that goes with the skin from earlier. Then we've got Amaru, very simple looking uh, profile picture for her. Quite nice though, not bad at all. We've got a lovely wolf guard skin here for the shotty. And of course this can be used by Doc, Lion, Rook and Twitch. Yeah, that is classy. I am all for that. We've got a brow pack. Yeah, there we go. The sends his headgear. That is really cool. Oh, it's even got the Wolfguard logo on it. That is, like that is actually, the texture and everything on that is just top notch. I am loving that. That is gonna be my headgear for sense. Oh, we have some text with this one. I rarely hide my face, but in action, it helps me focus during the more intense moments. When you're fighting a big guy with a minigun and rage is in his heart, you don't take chances. Plus, I look so cool with this mask on. Image matters, okay? Now, I do wonder, of course, the practicality. Like, I know that obviously we've got Capital who has an eye patch on, probably because one of his eyes is damaged. Doesn't seem like a good idea to limit your view with this kind of mask, though. But it looks cool. It does look good. All right, moving on. We've got another Wolfguard charm. Uh, it kind of looks like, yeah, it looks like a bottle opener, kind of a survival tool almost. Actually not, again, not a bad charm, so I'm going on with that. Then we've got Amaru, just kind of jammed into this battle pass. Seems weird, but she's there. We've got brow packs, we've got R6 credits. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. A duck portrait, that is actually classy. I'm loving it. Then we've got brow pack. But here we have this one for Thunderbird and Finca. Quite simple. I don't obviously this isn't like 3D skinning it up with the, like the P90, but it's, it's classy enough. 
Quite nice colors. I'm loving the uh, nice tones. We've got an Amaru weapons again. Obviously, this is a full bundle for her if you get the whole lot here. Then we have Doc's uniform. Real nice. We got some more text. It took some time, but Doc understands why I did what I did. He won't accept it, but at least it's no longer in the way. We might do things differently, but we're working towards the same goal. That has to be enough because no one else can carry this weight like we do. Now, if you don't already know, Lion and Doc have a lot of beef from uh, some history that came out when uh, Lion was introduced to the game. So this is apparently, I guess, a bit of like uh, retconning that to make sure, you know, make sure it's okay now and uh, Doc and Lion are getting on fine. Then we got a Bravo pack after that. We've got another charm. This one is for sense. We got some more text. This is quite good. I'm actually liking the text in here. So life is a song, it sounds weird, I know, but it is. It's not always a good one and the loudest singer is really the best one, but when you follow the rhythm, you can make things happen. That reminds me, Ying asked if I could share some of my sister's music with her. Ah, so Sense has a sister. Another quite good dog tag style thing, which I'm actually surprisingly liking. Then we've got a nice headgear, Wolfguard for Thunderbird. Yeah, pretty, pretty reasonable, very nice. We've got a uniform for Sense. I'm not sure. This doesn't quite go with his, yeah. It's not as good a uniform. Like I really, really like it and it's default. And uh, white doesn't really work. We've got a booster. We have an alpha pack. We've got a Amaru picture for her uh, profile card. Quite nice, but limited just to her. So that sucks. We've got a Bravo pack. And then we've got Twitch's kind of dog tag here too. More text. It's strange to think of mortality. I know what I signed up for, but I want to live long enough to see a day when we can be uploaded to a cloud and live as long as we wish to. That took a twist. Until then, robot soldiers would be nice. Wow. That is, that is an insight into Twitch's head right there. And here's our uniform. So I would say I'm kind of on the fence with this one, not sure. I'm glad to have Twitch with me on this assignment. Her empathy, intellect, and expertise belong on this team. Her enthusiasm complements her perfectionism. She's one of the only people I know who can utilize both. I am loving the text in this battle pass. All right, we've got a nice skin for sense. Very nice, actually. Good texture to that. Also a little, little bit of texture and stuff, so that's cool. It takes a special kind of soldier to exhaust every other option before they start shooting. From fighting by their side, I know that Sens understands when it's time to stop holding back. They have the mind for the job and the heart that makes it worth the effort. And that was Lion who wrote that. Very cool. Then we got Brow Packs. Then we have Clash, who is also part of Wolfguard. Quite a simple hat, but you know, goes of course with the style for this battle pass. Then we got a uniform here with Thunderbird. That does look very nice on her. Yeah, that's cool. We've got, wow, that, <laughs> that's a bit basic, I've, I've got to say. I was expecting more from Twitch's headgear. Not quite liking this one that much. Although if you're into the balaclava, it, it, it's a nice balaclava look. So supporting my fellow squad members is a role I take very seriously. I scout and coordinate, but I also fix their equipment when we're away from home. Maybe I can give Mira's design some tech upgrades when I'm at it. And very cool. Then we got a booster, we got an alpha pack, we got a sense background. Oh man, I really want a universal background for Wolfguard here. I don't think we're gonna get it though. Um, we've got Clash skin. Simple, but using of course the colors and all that. We've got Bravo pack. 
We've got a lion one. No text with this, but uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm quite happy with those charms. They look nice. Okay, what we got here? Twitch weapon skin. Relatively simple, but it looks detailed. Very good. Twitch and I haven't had many opportunities to work together so far, but our capabilities are well matched. I'd like to hear more about this AI research she does. I can assume she's trying to freaking live forever with that. And how we could use it to improve our combat capabilities. Hmm. I wonder if that AI will lead to anything in the future. Do we got a clash uniform? That looks good on her. Yeah, very nice. We got a brow pack. Then we have frost. Ah, which I think like Amaru is probably not going to be a wolf guard theme thing. It just looks like a, it's going to be probably a dirty bundle. We'll see. Ah, she's also got a wolf tooth. I'm assuming this goes with frost as well. Looks nice though. Then we got a booster. We got an alpha pack. We've got some credits. We've got clashes kind of uh, thing here. Then we have a bravo pack. We have, oh, well, that's interesting. This is for, of course, Bandit and Zero. And you can see the little icon that Frost also had. Maybe this is actually linked to Wolfguard. Oh, and it's got that same kind of worn out look. So let's see what this leads to. Oh, wow, yeah. 100% gonna be used in that. That is freaking nice. Very nice. Then we got Castle. What is Castle wearing? Oh my god, it is wolf guard related, I think. There's a wolf on it anyway. It also looks like it's made of wolves. What is this then? So, what, Frost Bandit are up and Castle are off like doing something in the Arctic or something? What is this as well? This stuff seems out of place, I gotta say, but it looks like it, it does connect in somehow. It is very possible I've missed some text that actually explains it. That is cool. Look at the re where the light reflects off it. That is absolutely awesome. 100% loving that. Then we have... Oh, so this is a seasonal. That's good. That is classy. Nice textures to it. Look at the way that, oh yeah, that, that's, that's, that's really good. And then we got a booster, we've got a pack. And also you get the seasonal, the universal weapon skin at 50, which is pretty cool. Then moving over there, we got our universal. This is 53 we get this for the weapon attachment skin. That is gonna work with a lot of skins. That is really, really good. Then we've got a Bravo pack, we've got a powder flask. Again, that icon with the pick and shovel. The tunnel look. Pick and shovel again on it. Hmm. But this one doesn't have a wolf like the castle one did. But not sure if this is a wolf guard thing. I'm not sure. It's getting a bit confusing. Why do we have castle with animal skin in this battle pass? Where is this coming from? Considering it had a wolf icon, I was definitely thinking it was some sort of wolf guard thing. I'm thinking about it. I don't think cat is castle even in wolf guard. I'm not sure. What is this? A tourniquet? Hmm. Well, to be honest, not the worst thing to have on your gun, actually. Makes sense. Then we have a bandit headgear. We have a bronzy color to it. Oh. Hell yeah. Castle, man. You're looking good. We got booster, alpha pack. <laughs> Money. That is nice. Yep, that's cool. Loving that. Oh, wait, wait. We got text. We got text. I don't wear these colors for status. I don't need authority or accolades. That's not for me. This uniform proves I am in the right place. Oh man, I get so much of his personality right off that. That's nice. Okay, so we got our, our frost skin 
that is cool i love the absolutely rusted look of it that'll look very nice in first person if you like obviously that rusted look we got bravo pack we've got hmm a very random uh skin in this wolfguard battle pass just yeah i'm not even sure what this is but uh, it's got a lot of detail to it Ooh, card background for castle it has wolves in it but i'm really not sure this is i'm, I'm, I'm feeling like they've just jammed this in because it had wolves uh but we got a, a a really nice castle background i gotta say that's cool then we've got bandit uniform here that icon again like that must mean something and i just have no clue hmm yeah i got no clue then we've got brow pack we've got a monty and a little charm as well then we got ying oh man i love that we actually have a lot of operators in here with their wolf guard stuff and i do presume this is a pretty good look at what future battle passes will be like i assume they're going to all be themed around these different squads for at least four seasons total then we got Melusi charm quite nice again feels a bit out of place in this battle pass but we've noticed obviously with the previous battle passes that they don't all just like fit to a theme they do have weird stuff jammed in them that is a uh, very sparkly gold but uh it looks great on our then we got bravo pack booster oh that's yeah that is good I tell you, whoever they have doing the hair in this game, like, does it better than any other AAA game. The hair is insane on some of the characters. But yeah, that looks good. Then we have a fan. And I kind of, kind of looks similar to Bandit's headgear, so it might be connected to his stuff. We've got Brow Pack. We've got Wolfguard Ying skin. Pretty damn good. That works nice. The simple graphic for the wolf. Great. Then we've got money. Definitely don't wear it with this headgear that I've got. Imposing men aren't always kind or patient. Montang manages to be both. There's an understanding there. We don't need to say much. We recognize each other's victories and we have matching outfits. <laughs> that sense uh i'm really getting a good sense of senses uh personality as well at this and that is i would say a pretty damn good uniform considering how good the, the shield skin is i think i'm probably going to go full wolf guard with uh, his stuff then we got booster then we got alpha pack then we've got a ying one and then we got oh a lion background pick up here portrait even yeah that is brilliant that looks so good then we've got a bravo pack we got a booster we've got a lion background pick looks quite classy just wish there was a universal uh, we've got i guess it doesn't make sense you, know, you shouldn't have everyone be wolf card but still i'd love one we've got a lion weapon skin here with more text i'm the big man with the shield i always take the lead I know what to expect from the front, but the back worries me sometimes. Not with Lion. He covers all the angles and holds his ground. We're basically unstoppable. Oh my god, they're good. They're uh, like best buds. And this is good. Really good texturing on the whole side here. Look at that. That is... Oh uh, yeah, loving that. Then we got Brow Pack. Okay, Nomad. Like, freaking how many operators are in this battle pass? Oh my god. The nomads in here with a dirty battle pass uh, uniform like Frost is. It looks good. I don't know what she's been up to. We've got a Lucy uh, card background. I hope there's a universal of some sort of background in this goddamn thing. Alpha pack, booster. We've got lines pass. We've got again with this icon that i must be in some i might just totally miss what it is and it's somewhere like really simple or it's something that has been there for ages but it's weird and this uniform is called digger work 
So I presume she's dirty because she's been digging. Then we've got a Bravo pack. Then we've got a Malusi picture. Wow. She looks fabulous. Looks like a freaking model. Then we've got a booster. Then we've got Ying with... Yeah, that actually suits her quite well. Of course, these white uniforms do stand out significantly. So I'll be interested to see how many people will use them over stimming, you know, potentially darker, more tactical. Then we got a Bravo pack. We've got a dirty skin for Nomad as well. This kind of uh, worn down look. I love that. And again, that icon is very prominent. It must be significant. It might even be, I don't know, it's a whole other squad. I don't know. Then we've got this. Oh, this is universal. Thank God. We do have a universal card background. Brilliant. I have no idea what the heck it is, but it looks cool. But yeah, I've got literally no clue. It just says defensive scheme. And it might be like an artistic kind of interpretation of Senzi's wheel, maybe, but I don't know. Anyway, we got a booster, we got an alpha pack, and we're getting to the end now. We're almost there in more R6 credits. So here we go. And then we've got this, which when I first seen it, I thought, oh my God, it's like the worst alpha pack skin that I've ever seen, but it's not. It's actually the attachment skin they're showing off, not my, I guess that's what I've got picked for castle, maybe. But we've got this nice weapon attachment skin, but it's not universal. This is for castle and pulse and it looks really good. I'm very sad this is not universal. But then the actual barrel is like a titanium that's been heated, uh, heat treated. It looks freaking great. Um, all for that. Then we've got a lion uniform. It looks like we're finishing off the battle pass with lion. So lion has good instincts. I trust him on the field and he's very thoughtful outside of it. Unfortunately, he loves metal music. So we're sworn enemies. Just kidding. We exchange playlists next time we're deployed. Maybe I'll listen to something heavier. They have done a really jo good job of just giving me a lot of Senses personality in this battle pass and the other ones too. And I do actually feel like I understand them, which is quite good to have done. Oh yeah, Lion. Damn, that headgear is nice. It does look like he's got a lot of Velcro on his head that he should be sticking stuff to, but anyway. I don't always make good decisions, but I'm happy with the person I became. I don't have to change how people see me and they don't need to accept me. Working alongside the others of Wolfguard, I can at least say I'm doing something good. Lion. Nice. And then what we've got here is a legendary oh, for Castle and Pulse. Well, it's cool. 3D weapon skin. Yeah, looks sweet. And that finishes off the battle pass. So, first reactions. Pretty damn good. There's a lot in it. Actually, a ton in it. Some stuff seems a bit weird, the Amaru stuff, but the rest of the stuff, Wolfguard, looks cool. And then there's the mystery of the other group with the other icon that I don't know what that's connecting to, but they've got nice things. So, that's great. We'll take a quick look at the shop. So let's go take a look at bundles. We look at the seasonal stuff that's actually out. So we got the uniforms here. So let's just have a quick look and a few examples. So here's Zofia. And it is quite a striking uniform for sure. And of course it matches up with the weapon skin, which is actually really cool. Let's take a look at someone's head here to get a good idea. Let's see, Ash. Not too bad, I would say. And of course that is a bundle. Then we got this one, which is the seasonal. Now, normally I just buy the seasonals every single time, but I'm not gonna bother with this one because I'm not too fussed about the green kind of, it's a little bit boring, I think for me. And the attachment skin, which is usually to me worth it just buying the entire bundle. I'm not too fussed about either. I don't think this will be too, much in my style choices so i'm not going to bother buying this seasonal but obviously you can and you should buy the bundle if you want to get any of these items separately you should just get the bundle so you get them all 
at a better price. We also have a nice disc here, which is the Sens disc. And uh, yeah, I assume obviously that's where it keeps his music. But yeah, that is the new season, the battle pass and the seasonal stuff as well. So let me know what you think. I am actually quite impressed with the battle pass. We'll see what the next squad is going to be for next season and what their battle pass will end up being. And I'm very curious to see how it's going to play out in the coming seasons. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.